I'm going to show you every meal that I have today. I'm going to track every single meal. I've got to lose this. Got to get this off my belly. Look at that jiggle. That's disgusting. Games. 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 Gotta get them bangs. Hey, what is up, y'all? Welcome back to Chris Gaines. Thank you for joining me for week two of intermittent fasting. And let me just say, I feel great. Nothing puts me in a better mood than fasting, not eating food for 16 hours. <laughs> so I'm actually 14 hours into this fast today. My last meal last night, I had a bowl of Raisin Bran. I finished the Raisin Bran before 8 o'clock. That was my cutoff time. My next meal today is at noon. Okay? So... As I mentioned last week, and in case you missed the episode last week, which shame on you if you did, but you know what, it's on YouTube, it lives there forever, go back and check it out, I explained a lot of things about intermittent fasting, which I will do through the course of this seven week intermittent fasting, this cut window for me. So basically, I fast for 16 hours, I eat for 8 hours, okay, that's the idea. So there's a couple of different thought processes on this. There's a couple of different methods of doing this. A lot of people will break their fast with a meal and then they'll train later during the day. I prefer to break the fast with my post-workout meal. I don't know what it is. I just, I enjoy going and, and kind of taking the warrior approach and fast, 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 and then kill at the end of the fast and then eat my prey enjoy the fruits of my labor, or the meats of my labor in this case. So, I'm about 14 hours into this fast. I'm getting ready to go tackle a leg day, which is not the easiest thing in the world, working the biggest muscles in your body 14 hours into a fast. But that's what i got to do. That's the program I'm on. I've got to lose some of this belly fat. I've got to lose this. got to get this off my belly. Look at that jiggle. That's disgusting. I've got a trip to Mexico coming up in about six weeks. Yes, we are doing a tour down in Mexico. That's the life. That's the job. I gotta go to Mexico. That's what the work calls me to do. All expenses paid. I guess I'll go. So, but I can't be looking like this going down to Mexico. I can't be all puffy. So I gotta get some of this crap off of my, my stomach. So that's why I'm doing intermittent fasting. I've done all different kinds of diets. A lot of them are very, very effective, but I generally enjoy intermittent fasting. It, it works for my lifestyle. When I'm on the road and I'm sleeping crazy hours and I get up and I go to the gym and then I get back to the venue and my first meal is around noon and then my last meal is around 7 or 8 o'clock before showtime, intermittent fasting is a great, great thing for my schedule. It may not be for everybody, but it works well for me and it does work. I'll drop LBs like crazy. So, I'm going to go do this leg day right now, and then I'm going to show you every meal that I have today. I'm going to track every single meal, starting with the first one at noon, which I'm really <laughs> looking forward to at this point. It's going to be about a 1,000 to a 1,250 calorie meal. I get the biggest meal out of the way first. That's post-workout. That's when the body is craving nutrients the most. Right after that workout, it's famished. It wants some protein. It wants some carbs. It wants to recover. So I'm going to hit the big meal first, and then the other two meals left for the day will be more of the 750 calorie, 500 calorie realm. So first, let's go do this leg day.
Okay, it's 1.15. Officially my first meal of the day. Even the dog's going crazy. He's hungry too. He wants to get out there and eat a rabbit. Half a cup of cooked steel cut oats, two slices of bacon, one slice of Ezekiel bread, five medium cage-free eggs. Allison bought medium for some reason, so I had to do a fifth egg. Usually that would be four. And then a cup of triple zero Oiko's Greek yogurt. So all together, 1,020 calories. That's my first meal of the day. Here are the macros. Not too shabby. So I'm going to get started. Okay, this is meal number two for the day. It is now 610. I'm running a little bit behind, but here it is. So that's six ounces of 93.7 ground turkey, a cup and a half of white rice, I'm about to pour salsa all over this bowl. And then I've got a shake. That's a scoop of protein, a cup of spinach, a cup of fat-free milk. This is going to total about 700 calories total. Here's the macros. Let's eat. All right, guys, third and final meal of the day. And it's only 7.20, 7.25. So it's a little early, but I'm hungry. Might as well get it knocked out. Hell, I can start my fast a little bit early tonight. So what I have going on here is two cups of Raisin Bran Crunch, one cup of fat-free milk, and a cup and a half of fat-free cottage cheese. So here are the macros for that. Calories, about 770. This is going to put me 30 calories short of my goal of 2,500 for the day. I ain't even mad at that. That's pretty damn good. Well, there you go. There is a full day of intermittent fasting, dieting, weight training, the whole shebang and bang. And I gotta tell you, man, I feel satisfied. I don't feel deprived like I do on some diets. You know, I ate well today. I didn't, I didn't eat a bunch of crap. Um, the raisin bran was about the worst thing that I had because it had sugar in there, but I did okay. So final day tally on macros. My goal was to hit 2,500 calories for the day. I did 2,477, that's outstanding. I'll take that any day of the week when I'm trying to cut. I'd rather be a little bit less than the goal weight, than the goal um, calorie allotment anyway. Uh, for fats, I did 57.5 grams of fats. That's outstanding. My goal is to stay under 80. That's really, really good. I'm proud of that. For carbs, I did 277 grams of carbs. That's great. Protein, I did 210 grams of protein. I try to do my body weight in protein and I'm 196 right now. I'll take that, that's great. This was a successful day. Um, it's all obviously a little easier when I'm at home and I can control the diet and everything. Tomorrow kind of brings in a new set of challenges. Um, I go back on the road, I go back to the real world. So trying to make this work, trying to make those macros work and stay under 2,500 calories while eating in an eight hour window is not always the easiest thing in the world, but I'm up for the challenge. I've done it before. I'll do it again. If you guys find this helpful, if you find it informative, if you want to learn more about intermittent fasting, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more of these videos. This is the second of seven videos that I'm doing on intermittent fasting. I'm taking you along with me on my winter cut because I have a trip coming up to Mexico, coming up very, very soon, six weeks. So if you like what you see, share, tell a friend about this, subscribe, comment below. If you have another diet that you're working on that you find is a better option for you than intermittent fasting, comment below, I wanna hear about it. Also, if you have any questions about intermittent fasting, leave a comment below, I'll get back to you as quickly as I possibly can. Thank you guys again for checking in with Chris Gaines. I'll see you next time.